Stacia, thanks. Congress approved a stopgap funding measure today to keep the federal government running while also providing critical aid to Ukraine and much needed disaster relief here at home. News on 6 Washington Bureau Chief Alex Cameron has a closer look at the bill and how Oklahoma's members voted on it. Well, both Oklahoma senators voted against it yesterday and all five House members voted no today. The reasons vary, but generally it's because they oppose the way Democrats are handling the appropriations process. One thing that's been very frustrating for Republicans is once again, there's been no discussion with our side about what that CR may or may not contain. It was no secret what the continuing resolution contained. The bill text was released Monday, but many Republicans resented being shut out of the decision-making process and then felt rushed. If we're going to vote yes on something, we will know what's in it, every line. Every single line will know exactly what's in it because I, I wouldn't trust anything they put in front of us. Republican opposition also stems, they say, from what was not included in the bill. Not one single dollar in there to combat inflation, not one single dollar in there to, to secure our southern border. There is about $25 billion for disaster relief, including FEMA funding that will help in the response to Hurricane Ian. And there's $12 billion in new aid for Ukraine, which, especially now, as Putin tries to annex portions of the country, most members support. Oh, absolutely. Senator Inhofe says he's been pushing the administration to be more aggressive in providing aid. The president now has come up with a, with a reasonable number that uh, we're, we're talking about. But you got other things in that uh, in that legislation in terms of that vote. Other things, he says, that kept him from voting yes. Now, there is motivation for Democrats to get a regular budget put together by the time this deal runs out December 16th. The new Congress, with potentially new majorities, gets sworn in in January. In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.